Hello, welcome to the Ohlone Show. I'm your host, Jami Ohlone. In this episode, I'm with regulars because they're currently doing a Twitter space talking about electricity, power, some old guy, you know, the usual stuff. As for our guest, she is from New York City. She's an actress and she's planning to work on a new film pretty soon. And we'll be uh, discussing about that momentarily. Ladies and gentlemen, Patricia Fowley. Hi, how are you? Fabulous. <laughs> so, how's life? Well, life is pretty good. <laughs> I'm currently living in Brazil, so I'm enjoying the summer while most New Yorkers are in the winter. So that's been pretty amazing. <laughs> oh, nice, nice. You know, I actually have family in Brazil. Oh, really? Where? Uh, it's like in it's a city called Guayana. Oh, yes, I have family in Guayana. <laughs> Oh, that's such a small world. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, so, my, so my family is originally from the center of Brazil, so Goiás area, from Goiânia and the towns nearby. But I am from uh, São Paulo, which is more oh, south okay. east. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, most of my fa- my Brazilian family have always lived in the center of Goiânia most of their lives. Oh, that's so amazing. And you still have a lot of family back here? Yeah. Yeah, I do. I still have family in Brazil. It's since moved to, like, other places like Brasilia, uh, Alto mm-hmm. Paraíso de Guayas, mm-hmm. and also Uberlandia. No, it's like my all over... father is from Uberlandia. You're killing me. <laughs> that's correct. Uh-huh. Yeah, because Brazil is a really big country, so that's of why course. I'm very impressed, you know? If they were all from Sao Paulo, that's different, or Rio, that's more common, but they are literally from tiny towns in the middle of Brazil. Yeah, amazing. Hmm. Yeah, what a coincidence. Yeah, mad coincidence. So what are, what are you working on right now? Um, so I'm currently working on a movie that we're going to be start shooting very soon. And I mean, lots of, uh, lots of, uh, big preparations, lots of, uh, studying right now before we get very hands-on. So I think it's going to be a great, I think a great project for 2023. So I think it's going to be very exciting. All right. Sounds good. Mm-hmm. And what exactly is this film about? <laughs> well, I can't give you a lot about the about the whole, um, how do I say? I can't give you a, a lot of information because a lot of it, you you have to watch the movie, obviously. Um, oh, but, let's say, <laughs> but let's just say it's about human relations. I think in a way um, we are all experiencing moments in, in the planet that we're all going through transitions. So I think that the movie talks a lot about transitions and how we go through it, different moments in our lives. Hmm. Interesting. Mm-hmm. Working on this film for? Um, well, I think we started, I, I got brought in in the beginning of the year, but they've been working on it for a much longer time. <laughs> and what, what, at what point did you thought of ever becoming an actress? <laughs> um, Well, I started acting very young, not like I didn't go to school at first. So I just started in a in an amateur theater group. I guess I had a lot of energy and my parents were like, go lose some of this energy. Um, So they kind of found this group and I started pretty early. So around nine, 10 years old. 
And I guess by the age of 15, it was very clear to me that this is what I wanted to do because I had been doing it for so long. Um, but that was in the theater world. And then after, you know, when you're 15, you're still in high school, a lot of things are changing. So eventually I did go to school for acting. But as a person that wanted to learn and do a little bit of everything, mm -hmm. from there I went to study dance at Martha Graham in New York. That's one of the reasons why I moved to New York. Um, at first you said that I was from New York, and I kind of like to think that I am because I lived there for 12 years. And most of my career was built there. Um, but that was a second momentary moment where I went to study dance. Then from there, I went to study more technology and performance and did a, a master's degree at Brooklyn College. Um, so I think <laughs> I've been acting and I've been thinking about becoming an actress for as long as I know myself. But at the same time, I'm a jack of all trades, I would like to say. <laughs> all right fabulous what always makes you laugh hmm. i think well i think that's more of a smile but i was gonna say a good sunset makes me but that's more like it makes me smile i guess what makes me laugh well i'm a mother of four so i guess my kids always make me laugh and in a way <laughs> They are always doing something funny and always getting a little laugh out of me. Hmm. That's nice. How often do you stay up late? Um, not very much currently. It's funny because I feel like I've always worked better late at night. But um, as I told you, I am a mother of four, so... At, that, at a certain moment in time, later in the day, you're very exhausted. So I would say that at this moment in time, not so late. But it's a, it's a nice change of pace for somebody that used to work all overnight, especially when you're in a project that requires a lot of attention, you know? Yeah, absolutely. What flavor, of, what flavor of ice cream do you wish existed? Hmm. Skittles. Oh, Skittles. Be quite a, <laughs> it's, quite a, it's quite a mix, really. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Maybe every bit of the ice cream has a different flavor. Yeah, that'll be interesting. Mm-hmm. Like spicy food. Hmm. I feel like I used to more. I feel like I used to eat a lot of spicy food. And now I've developed more of a taste for sour food more than spicy sometimes. So I guess I will be like 60% on the spiciness. <laughs> okay. I like, sp I, I like spicy food. In fact, I have a craving for it. Like, the spicier, the better. And I was like, oh, yeah, give me more. Yeah. <laughs> have you ever tried the Brazilian Malagueta? Since you have Brazilian family? No, I never tried that. That's like this little, uh, this little pepper that we have here, like a chili. And it's super, super spicy. And people put in olive oil. So you sometimes, just to put it in your food, you just put the oil of it. Because eating the pepper is so hot. And I, I grew up with this kind of food. So I guess there's also why I don't eat as much anymore. Because I started very early in life just eating this kind of like super spicy food. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'll like mm -hmm. to try that someday. Mm -hmm. uh, just to fill, to fill my satisfaction or spiciness. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What silly or funny thing are you afraid of? <laughs> I don't like clowns. I really dislike them. The sillier they try to be, the, the more I get scared. And I know that for a grown woman to admit that she still doesn't like clowns is crazy. But I don't know. I never like them. That's all right. Uh, there, there was this girl <laughs> I went to college with. She was scared of clowns. 
In fact, I was doing this. Uh, I was doing this production. Uh, the the makeup team draw like clown faces on the performers for like as part of the performance. Okay. And when I saw them, I was like running up to my group of mates and I was like, ah! and that that one girl who was very proud was like screaming for her life. It was hilarious. <laughs> I oh, had yeah. one of my roommates once bought like a cutout paper of a like a cardboard of a clown and hid in my closet and scared me and it stayed in the apartment for like a good month or two until he tried to scare me in the shower and I killed it by mistake I just turned on the shower forgot about it and then when I opened it was like soaking wet in the tub but ugh, clowns yeah absolutely what habit do you find yourself doing without thinking about it? I think that for me, I think that for me is really, I have a habit of not standing still on a chair. And I love to sit on hammocks because there's always movement. Um, I think that it has to do with being a dancer too. But part of it is being Brazilian and growing up with hammocks a lot. So I feel like I can never sit down still. And that's a habit that I see myself all the time. Like I start moving in the chair. Like right now, as we speak, I am moving. I already changed positions like six times. So I do that. And I love just to go sit at a hammock, put hammocks everywhere in the house. Oh, sweet, sweet. <laughs> what website or app do you visit most often? Mm. I think I'm an Instagram person. Uh, as an app thing, um, I visit it quite quite often. Um, in terms of website, and I guess app as well, the good old news, CNN, BBC, Folha de São Paulo, one newspaper of each country. Oh, okay, sounds good. I'm mm -hmm. more of a YouTube kind of person. Mainly because okay. of personalization and community, yeah. Yeah. And only one package. That's true, that's true. I feel like I had been, there was a moment that I was very much on YouTube, searching a lot of things. Then I had like a Pinterest phase just to organize ideas, especially when you're working on something that you need to have a vision board, you know? And then Instagram yeah. for ideas and community in a way, like. But yeah, it's interesting. Each app serves its purpose. It sure does. Have you ever experienced any paranormal activities? Hmm. I mean, feelings. I would say that I've experienced feelings of not being alone in certain rooms sometimes. That like a little shiver up the spine kind of situations. And I think I, I would think that as sometimes a possible par paranormal um, activity. Okay, I get that. What improved your life quality so much you wish you did it sooner? Mm. Um, having space. <laughs> I think that being able to have space has changed my quality of life. Um, as a person that stayed in New York, grew up in New York, grew up in Sao Paulo, which is a very paced city, we tend to be so cramped in our apartments. And I have a big family. And I think as an artist, having the space to create also changes everything. So I think that making the decision of prioritizing the space that I live and work has changed my life completely. Hmm. All right, then. Sounds good. What food have you never eaten or you would love to try someday? Hmm. I feel like I've tried a lot of weird food. <laughs> Uh, what have I not tried? I guess out of curiosity, I would try eating like uh, the insects, you know, insect uh, barbecue 
in the skewer, skewer kind of thing. That is something I've always thought of trying. That is a food that I've never tried. But I'm saying this because I, because my grandma used to cook all sorts of different things here, including like capybara, snakes. So nothing is very weird for me or too different. Okay, then. That sounds interesting. <laughs> Which recent news story have you found interesting? What was it that I was reading? Hmm. Sorry, I'm trying to go through like a list of stories in my head right now. And I think that the last one, I think, I think it's just because it's the most recent one, was um, a guy here in Brazil was coming home. It's tra not a tragic story. I guess he it has a good, good ending. Uh, but he was coming home. Uh, in his motorcycle and as he comes in to like go through his garage two people try to like shoo him as he's closing the the gate so he escaped he kind of slid off and managed to escape and from all the bullets and everything but I don't know of course we have a lot of violence everywhere and this is not the most interesting um event but i guess the fact that like he managed to be so fast in a situation like that really caught my eye like they didn't even try to get inside his house they just shoot it from far away i guess because they were mad because he was so fast that's the impression i got so it was interesting to see like this fast pace in in that kind of a situation like that's it this is it's fight or flight reaction you know yeah i can see that Where do you see yourself 20 years? Hmm. Um, I see myself 20 years from now living only in the summer. Hopefully half summer in Brazil, summer in New York, or somewhere that is just warm all year long. Um, and be able to create and sample a little bit of all the all the arts that I have collected along the years I would say okay sounds good if you had to lose one of your senses which would you choose to lose oh no don't do that to me um <clears throat> I don't know. Uh, that's really hard. Because I don't want to lose any of them. Because each of them are a very specific thing. But I guess nobody does do that. Um, I guess hearing. If I had to lose it. But that would be very sad. Yeah, I know. But all of them would be too, you know what I mean? I don't know. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> What's the most useful thing that you own? Hmm. It's not one, but it is. I think the most useful thing I own is my bag because it's truly a Mary Poppins bag. Like, and I have everything and anything you need for any sort of situation. I'm always surprising people with like some random item that they need. They don't even know. Um, so I think that's very useful. It's, it's huge, but not that huge. And lots of compartments. That's the trick. Sweet. Have extra fingers or extra toes? Hmm. Extra toes. Because as a dancer, I think that that would give me some extra balance for some barefoot pirouettes. And also helps you swim faster at the back end. Oh, yeah. You know, in I Am Flux, that she has hands instead of uh, feet. Sorry, weird reference. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah, because, you know, the more, the, lots of, I guess, a lot more balance and fluidity. More like 
I don't know, a primate's feet. Okay, then. That was good. If you're going to sail around the world, what's the name of your boat? It's an awesome. That's an awesome question. I'm sorry. That's a beautiful question. Now, I, now I'm trying to think of like, oh, these names. But I guess something that would talk about light, maybe? Lux. That would be the name. Lux. Light. Sweet. In Latin. That's pretty cool. Mm-hmm. If you had to, if you have to get over, if you have to get rid of a holiday, which would you get rid of? <laughs> I love holidays. I wouldn't get rid of any. Um, and I think in Brazil, especially, we have lots of holidays, extra ones too. Mm, I don't know. I don't think I would get rid of any holidays. Can I just say that? Yeah, sure. Yeah, no, holidays are great. We yeah, celebrate sure. all of them that we have right now is because we're celebrating something that either is historically important or that needs to be celebrated. I guess we can change their names depending, but I wouldn't get rid of them. Yeah, absolutely. What takes a lot of time to master, but it is totally worth it. <laughs> Anything you want to be good at? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, okay, this is a question for the top of my head. Hmm? So, have you ever thought about sending mail to be Sure, yeah. I would like to I would like to send some email to like some mythical creatures, see if any of them reply. All right then. That'd be pretty cool. Right? The question yeah, is absolutely. how do how do you put the address to Bigfoot from tall mountain number three across seven trees? <laughs> Yeah, that that'll be pretty interesting to like. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's that's a struggle for another time. Yeah. What has been the long you've been on? Um, time wise or distance wise. Either will do. Um, I think when I went um up the Amazon River. That was like a 22 days by boat, stopping here and there. But it was a 22-day trip, which was part of a larger 30-day trip around Brazil, um, where I was obviously uh, working as well, doing some photography and uh, some work in the forest, in the Amazon forest. Hmm. All right, then. What movie completely changes its plot when you change one title, what's the new movie about? What? Say it again? What movie completely changes its plot when you change one letter in its title? What's the new movie about? I don't know. <laughs> um, a movie that changes a letter in its title. Just one letter in its title. Oh, yes. Um, and then what is the movie about? I got so yeah. I do not know. You got me on this one. And I'm, I, I love riddles. And I'm here like, what? Uh, hmm. If you change one letter, then what is the new movie about? The Scarlet Letter? Take Scarlet. <laughs> I don't know. That's, That's all right. Can you? Are you gonna give me the answer? The, the, there's there is no answer. Oh no! It could be it could be any movie. You change one letter in its title. It could be anything else. Well, yeah, but I was thinking of something that is completely drastic that you just change it. But yeah. Well, it depends on the movie title. 
if it if it's short and it has like other different meanings or I don't know. I guess Men in Black, MIB, change any of them, that's it. That's a completely different movie. Okay. Good enough for me. <laughs> and that is all we have for this episode. It was great having you, Patricia. Talking about was... your work as an actress, your film, and everything else has been fabulous. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. It's been great. And until next time, stay tuned for more. <laughs>